Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Thursday, August 11th and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video we'll be taking a quick look back at yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. I'm talking about my core picks for the FanDuel main slate for today. It is actually an early main slate and I believe it's starting around 1 o'clock central time and it is a six game main slate overall. Then going over to my article over at webetats.com and talking about my top GPP stacks for today. But without further ado we'll get started with a recap of yesterday's picks. Kind of an unfortunate day yesterday at the pitcher position we had no cinder guard seventy five hundred dollars got 28 points yesterday i did give him a push you could consider this a hit just because he ended up being the fourth pitcher on yesterday's slate at a very cheap price tag though then we have vladimir guerrero forty four hundred dollars he did not end up scoring any points so he was a mess that game did end up getting rained out in the top of the first inning and then lourdes guriel was the exact same way at twenty nine hundred dollars then as for our other hitters we had austin riley at thirty eight hundred dollars Got to 6.2 points, so I did give him a push yesterday. Not anybody that really helped our lineup, but not anybody that killed it either way. And the way a lot of my lineups were, I had a good amount of Blue Jays exposure, so they were kind of dead in the water either way, though. And then last but not least, we had Gene Segura at $2,800. He got those 6.2 points as well, so I did give him a push. So kind of a little bit unfortunate date due to some weather yesterday. Took a chance on a spot, just did not end up working out. The weather did not stay looking as good as it was at one point yesterday. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the court picks for today. So for the pitcher position for today, we went with Kyle Gibson at $9,000. Averaging about 25 fantasy points per game on the season. That's something you're really looking for there. But he's pitched against Miami Marlins three times this year. He's got decent history versus these hitters. And he's had three good starts versus them. And then one kind of mediocre start there. Not a start that you'd be like, oh my god, he killed me. But you probably wouldn't be happy with it regardless. So Kyle Gibson, definitely a good mid-range price pitcher there. If you want to pay up for a pitcher, Dylan Cease would be the guy on today's slate overall. Then at first base, we got Paul Goldschmidt at $4,600, averaging just under 14 fantasy points per game. Obviously going against the Colorado Rockies still. And German Marquez is pitching for them today. He is 13 for 34 versus German Marquez with four home runs. So definitely a lot of upside there with Paul Goldschmidt today. Then we move down to third base with Josh Rojas, averaging just under 10 fantasy points per game on the season at $3,000. Goes against the Pittsburgh Pirates and JT Brubaker today. He's 3 for 6 for his Brubaker in his career. And Josh Rojas also has a hit in his last six games that he started. So definitely a good amount of upside and a good amount of floor there today overall. Then in the outfield, we're going to go with his teammate and Alec Thomas at $2,700. Average about eight fantasy points per game on the season. Also going against the Pittsburgh Pirates and JT Brubaker. Faced him one time in his career, and he did hit a home run in that at bat. So definitely a lot of upside there. Both these guys should be towards the top of the order for the Arizona Diamondbacks, who are going to be one of my favorite stacks today. And then last but not least, we have Eloy Jimenez for the Chicago White Sox at $2,900. Averages about 8.5 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Kansas City Royals and Zach Greinke today. He's 1 for 3 versus him in his career. And Eloy Jimenez has been hitting the ball very, very well since the All-Star break. So definitely don't have a problem going to him at $2,900 today. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that I do have listed here, you have $12,800 remaining, $3,200 per player potentially some room to pay up for a player and then if you pay down for a couple other value options if that's something you want to do or if you want to take a little bit more balanced approach that's definitely fine on today's slate as well gonna have to get a little bit creative on this smaller six game slate overall but definitely some good possibilities and some good options out there as well but with that being said we'll get moved over to my article over at webetats.com and talk about my top gpp stacks for today so the ones that I do have for today are going to be the Houston Astros going against Cole Reagans for the Texas Rangers. They have no history versus him. It's his second career MLB start. He did have a little bit of prospect pedigree, but nothing over the top at this point in time. He was picked in the first round, but that's kind of about it. So definitely do expect this Astros team to hit him pretty well. And then next is the Cardinals going against German Marquez. Talked a little bit about him with Paul Goldsman. He's obviously in play. You could look at Nolan Arenado, Chase DeYoung. Uh, Dylan Carlson, quite a few different options there, plus that game is at Coors Field, so there is some upside built in there as well. Then last but not least, we have the Arizona Diamondbacks going against JT Brubaker, and a lot of these hitters have hit him pretty well in the past. Obviously talked about two of them in my court picks, but Christian Walker, Kettle Marte could also be in play as well. But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, August 11th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play on today's slate, whether it's someone from my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely interested in hearing what you have to say. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. 
helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, mainly MLB DFS at this point in time. But once we get back around to the NFL and NBA regular seasons, I'll be covering those two sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.